Yeah, this is revenge dressing now. You know, we've been stuck inside, and so if the opportunity arises that I get to be in a glamorous gown, even though they said business cocktail, I said glamour, glamour, glamour. Yeah. One second, Lord. Here we go. It's just an amazing privilege to be able to shine a spotlight as big as this on a foundation that I was able to start with my sister in 2018 Welcome called to Power of Women 2021. That's you. <laughs> okay. Um, I got to start this foundation with my sister in 2018 called Firework Foundation and it's a foundation right now since it's in its infancy um, but it's an arts foundation. Yeah, and, and maybe it sounds cliche and everyone says it but it's so true and I get why people have been doing it for eons <laughs> and then why they keep doing it. Right? Oh my gosh, no advice. Um, I'm just so like excited to watch. Uh, I love Snoop, of course. Um, he was so great to me for California Girls. And Kendrick Lamar, I think, is just a living legend. And it, it was a lot, it was a lot of people. So it's like, guys, we got 12 minutes. You know, let's divide it. <laughs> Who's gonna do what? Are you gonna let them borrow your left shark? Oh, they don't need anything from me. I'm, they're good, they are good. <laughs> this is really special too because uh, uh, I will be 90 in December when West Side, West Side Story opens in New York. But it's opening first here in Los Angeles on. Well, we've got uh, November 29th actually in New York and then in Los Angeles December 6th. And to the public on the 10th. And then there's my documentary, which is also premiering on uh, on uh, PBS, October 5th. So it's all it's very exciting. Yeah, and I certainly have had some of those experiences coming up. I was often the youngest person in the room, most of the time the only woman in the room, most of the time the only person of color in the room. And, you know, I had a, I had a great mentor, a woman named Courtney Valenti, who once told me that I was hired for my opinion, and the minute I cease to have one, I cease to have value. And that has always stuck with me as something that's inspired me. So even when I'm scared, I try to speak up and use my voice. And what I've found is that if you use your voice, you can inspire other people to join you and then everyone is braver together. Oh my god, your skin is incredible. Oh my god, thank okay. you. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard. I'm humbled. <laughs> I think it really just came from having street smarts. My mother taught me street smarts. She taught me how to hustle and push further and not take no for an answer, even outside of the entertainment industry. So when I got into this industry with so many no's and so many walls, I was like, does anyone here not have street smarts? 
Yes, they do, but they, so many white men are using their street smarts. And so I thought, well, I have that too. And it may look a different way. It may, um, it may present differently, but that's just as valuable, just as valid. And what do I have to lose? So I started doing that and I was much happier. We're still very seriously underrepresented. And I mean, you can just look at all the movies you see, look at all the television shows you see, and it's, uh, it's kind of rough. And I, I, I still don't get it. I don't know why this is happening. I have a theory, but it's not something you can discuss in five minutes, so I don't want to bring it up now. But uh, it has to improve. It really has to get much, much better. What do you want to see specifically happen in your lifetime? What's the change that you want to see? I just want to see more Hispanic actors working in films and television. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> no. One glance, here we go. Let's see those hoops.